Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a part and how to use a plane tool to actually cut the part. And then we're going to create a completely different part. So we'll go ahead and go new if you want to follow along. New design. We're going to be doing this in millimeters. So go ahead and make sure you're set up in millimeters and then go to the plan view. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, draw a circle. So we'll go ahead and go to the sketch. Draw a circle. We're going to put one right here. We'll go 20 millimeters. And then um, we're going to draw another circle, 20. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Just go ahead and do two circles, 20 millimeter. Get your dimension tool and then go from midpoint to midpoint. Now we're going to change this. So go ahead and in there type 30. Okay, so now it's 30. So now we're going to go ahead and get our um, this tool up here which is the tangent line tool. And we're going to go from a tangent point to there. Then we're going to do the same on the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and come up here to trim away. We're going to get rid of, actually don't do trim away yet. Grab your circle tool again. Then we're going to go from the center there. We're going to do 10. Enter. And then we're going to put a 10 over here. And now we're going to get our trim away. Let's trim away this part here and this part here. So now we have 30 millimeters. And we want to put our plane in the middle here at 15. So now we're going to go ahead and end sketch. Get rid of these two. Delete. Let's go to our views up here and do the isometric view. Do a control minus. To zoom out, now we're going to pull, and we're going to pull this part. Uh, let's go eight millimeters. So undo that. So click on it while it's flat. Type eight on your keyboard. Hit enter. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and go plane. We're going to put a plane right there. We know that from here to here is thirty. So we're going to go to move. Once that we put that plane there, we're going to move it. Grab the dark blue, and we're going to move it over to 15. So let's type 15 in there, hit enter, and then we'll go ahead and spin that. That should be right in the center, and it is. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and select the click off. Then we're going to go up here to split body. Now we're going to select this body here that we drew. Then we're going to select the plane that we just put there. So, so now you see that it's two separate parts. So now we're going to hit select. Now we can get rid of this plane. We don't need it. Delete. Now we're going to uh, multiple click on this till we have the part. Now we're going to go to move. We're going to grab the red and we're going to slide this out of the way. 15 millimeters. So type in 15. Hit enter. Okay now we're going to spin this. So we're going to go ahead and select uh, <clears throat> our blend. We're going to blend this part there. Go ahead and click on blend. Then we're going to spin it over to here and then click on blend again. Hold down control key. Get that part there. Oh, I'm sorry. Undo. I forgot to rotate this. This is supposed to be a completely different part. So we're going to go ahead and multiple click on this. We're going to grab the red. Rotate it. 90 degrees. Now do the blend. Now grab your blend, click there, then we're going to spin, and then we're going to hold down, get the click, click on the blend again, hold down control key, grab that part there. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the check button. Okay, so now we have a part like this. So to complete this part, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a multiple click here to get all the, the lines. And then we're going to do a 0.5 fillet. So type in 0.5 after you select everything. And then we're going to go ahead and get these. Hold down control key, type 0.5. We're going to put a 0.5 in there. Now we're going to spin this. And then we're going to do a 0.5 here as well, these two spots here. So hold down control key, get both of these, type in 0.5, hit enter. Okay, so this is our part. Let's go ahead and go to the isometric view. 
So basically we were able to create this part. Um, we created it and then with uh, started off with circles and we actually did the dimension tool to move uh, this circle here. We put a, a measurement of 30 millimeters in there. So then we knew that our, our plane had to go uh, 15 millimeters. So then we went ahead and uh, put a plane in there, inserted it in to here, and then we moved it 15 millimeters over, and then we used our split body. We selected the body, then we selected the plane, and then we got rid of the plane, and then we selected just this piece and we moved it over out of the way 15 millimeters. Then we rotated it 90 degrees, and then we used our blend tool to blend from here over to here. So now we have this nice, nice part that we created. Um, rather than trying to do this any other way, uh, it was really easy using the uh, using the the plane to actually cut this, and then to separate it, and make two parts, and then just rotate this 90. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. And as always, thanks for watching.